Welcome, manufacturing world. This is another episode of Shop Matters, sponsored by Akuma America. My name is Mike Hampton. I'll be your host today. And what I can promise you is we're going to have a lot of fun. I have two partner individuals, but also two close friends in the booth with me today, Scott Cooley and Steve Degrassi from Hennig. Um, so, Scott, why don't you give us just a brief introduction? Uh, yeah, I appreciate. First of all, I appreciate uh, just the opportunity to come in here and sit down with you. Um, I, what I thought I would do is I kind of start giving a little bit of history for everybody out there to understand how Hennig and Okuma actually partnered. Yes. Yeah, so why don't you tell us how long have you been with Hennig? Um, over three and a half decades. Wow. Over three and a half decades. Yeah. And Steve, what about you? Uh, I've, I've only been with Hennig about a year and a half. Okay. Uh, um, so I joined them. I knew about Henning for a long time. I uh, used their products for a long time as a mechanical design engineer in my previous so, life. So they, when there was an opportunity to be the East Coast sales director, uh, basically had an interview in the car and <laughs> as we're driving and, and the rest is history. So. so how long have you been in manufacturing? Oh, uh, probably about the same amount of time that he's been in at Hennig, so, so we've got about 60 to... years of experience sitting around this table on the other side of the table. Um, that's impressive. Uh, that's what really leads to ultimate solutions and tribal knowledge that can benefit our customers. Um, so we love the fact that you're here. Um, our relationship with the partners in technology goes back quite a ways. And, and Scott, you started to mention um, the extended relationship with Enomoto and Hennig. So why don't you go into a little detail about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so quick history on Hennig. Uh, Hennig started in 1950 in Germany and uh, the two brothers started manufacturing uh, bellows in their living room. Wow. Fast forward, uh, they became the, one of the leaders in machine tool protections, way covers, steel way covers, bellows and such. Um, in the uh, mid 70s, uh, they're trying to import product here in the States and they're having some difficulty. So they approached a gentleman by the name of Willie Goldner. Uh, he actually is the owner of Advanced Machine and Engineering, which is our sister company. Right. Uh, Steve will talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, but uh, we actually started manufacturing here in the States uh, in the mid-70s. So fast forward, in the mid-80s, Okuma made the decision to actually um, start manufacturing machines here in Charlotte. Uh, you guys were located up in New York, and when you guys moved, uh, their largest chip conveyor vendor was Enomoto in Japan, and Okuma approached them and asked if they could get support here in the States. That's where Willie, and now his eldest son, Dietmar, uh, had a conversation with Enomoto, and we did a, a two-way partnership with them. So we're talking back in the days of the Captain L370 machines, the Cavettes. Yeah. The yeah. cadets and many others that were actually made in Charlotte, North Carolina at that point in time. Yeah. Yeah. So we started with you guys and with them in uh, 1986. So we actually formed a partnership. We started manufacturing chip conveyors, utilizing their technology, and they actually started manufacturing weight covers, utilizing our technology. So many of your machines that have the Enomoto covers on them uh, actually are using Hennix technology. Wow. That's a, that's a great piece of advice and, and information. Um, you know, you said that this relationship goes back to 1986, and that's actually right around the time period when Akuma America moved from Long Island, New York, down to short Charlotte, North Carolina in 1986-87. Right. Um, so this goes all the way back uh, to the point where we actually started producing roots in Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, we've uh, we've really enjoyed the partnership. And uh, um, if I could just fast forward a little bit. Farther, so this is in 86, we start manufacturing chip conveyors, partnering with Okuma. And uh, in uh, 1999 and 2000, I'd mentioned Willie, who's the owner of Advanced Machine Engineering. They were a minority owner of Hennig here in the States. Uh, they ended up taking ownership of Hennig. And then uh, eight months later, they took ownership of Hennig Worldwide. So uh, global enterprise for Hennig is now privately owned by the Goldner family. Wow, that's awesome. It's it's funny you mentioned that it all started in, in a living room, right? Yeah. And I was actually up in Illinois last week walking through AME and the entire facility. Um, and 
I'll just say it's come a long ways um, from a living room. It is a spectacular, spectacular manufacturing facility. So, Steve, why don't you just give us a little more information about that? Yeah, so when you walk through Advanced Machine, you can almost see the history. Uh, even Willie's old office, when you go in there, it feels like you're going back in time a little bit. Uh, Advanced Machine, just like uh, uh, Hennig, is part of the Golner uh, family. Uh, under one, but but they actually have moved the headquarters to um, Rockford, Illinois. So now uh, Hennig Worldwide is actually headquartered, even the R and D and Advanced Machine. Uh, we do a lot of work holding. We're the largest domestic manufacturer of tombs, tombstones and grid plates. Um, we do a lot of custom work holding. Um, we also resell and integrate a lot of different brands of work holding into what we do. Um, so we, but we're the North American. Um, uh, representative and partner with Ott Jakob. Uh, so we do draw bars and gripper sets, pulling heads, uh, rotary unions. And then we also have a fluid power division that does a lot of like um, rod clamping uh, mechanisms and Spieth couplings. We're a licensed partner with Spieth. Um, and we also do a lot of uh, uh, safety catchers with Satima. So it's a broad range of products. And one of the interesting things about how it's all set up is each of the product groups, the business units, just like Scott's business unit, is almost like its own little company. Right. They have, we have our own uh, CSSs, the customer service specialists in, in, in that. We have a, our own business unit managers who handles the operation leadership side within that. Uh, engineering dedicated to those business units. And it's, it's all because our core value is uh, making customers, our customers successful. And so at that, the best way to do that is to make sure that we are streamlined in how we handle communication and, and make things. So. so your value is helping make customers successful. Akuma's mission is to passionately pursue a customer uh, for life. Um, those are really well aligned. And one thing I'll say is Mr. Goldner actually gave me a tour of the AME facility last week. And you said it speaks for yourself, and the tour definitely lived up to that expectation. As we were walking around, just the passion and the love and, and the family-centered environment that takes place there is, is second to none, um, uh, except Akuma. That's how I feel about the company I work for. So it's great that we have so many similarities. You mentioned in that particular facility, you focus on draw bars, tombstones, spindles. Um, and then on the Hennig side, we're focused on enclosures, conveyors, and, and, and. Um, so because of this large base of products that you bring to complement Akuma Machine Tools, uh, we actually decided to add Hennig and AME to our Partners in Technology program. So Scott, Steve, why don't you guys talk a little bit about that relationship, what the Partners in Technology program means to you, and how it really adds value for our end users. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we've been a proud partner uh, for some time with you guys, and uh, uh, your your customers are our customers, and that's how we see it. Again, making customers successful, it's not only uh, making you successful, but our customers as well. And uh, having this uh, uh, partnership uh, has gone a long way to uh, help support that. Um, when we first started uh, in Partners in Technology, um, we had talked about uh, us manufacturing chip conveyors, and quite honestly, Okuma said, we appreciate that, but we already have a couple of companies out there that manufacture conveyors. What else can you offer? Right. And then, as Steve just pointed out, Advanced Machine and everything that they, that they offer um, with us also manufacturing weight covers. And then I really think what sealed the deal is when we, uh, I think Okuma had an epiphany that we actually manufacture enclosures and roof protect systems. And that was an area that I think uh, Okuma was really trying to find someone to partner with. Yes, Steve? so the, the, the neat thing about being partners in technologies is not every company is like Okuma in the sense that they don't necessarily focus on technology as much, you know, that because that, that, that's where it's all heading. And so, you know, enclosures and roof protect is one of those areas where we, we've grown a lot. And uh, a lot of people, when they think of Okuma, they think they don't necessarily know that Okuma makes other things than this typical machining center. And so like the MCR series, for example, the double column, uh, large envelope machining, um, a lot of times you're main cutting uh, materials that you actually have to keep control of. You can't just let them go out into the shop 
in an airborne fashion. And so we actually have enclosure systems where we have a retractable uh, roof bellow and sometimes with automatic detaching and movement. And so it's that push towards technology um, that kind of helps us serve Okuma uh, in that particular product arena. And because we do uh, custom chip conveyors every single day and we do them pretty fast, we, we uh, a lot of times we'll integrate special conveyor systems into the enclosure systems because not every application is the same. Right. And so we try to listen to the customer uh, and sometimes even watch what the customer does without them saying anything um, and try to make a solution that matches their need um, to eliminate, you know, to eliminate issues. Yeah. So what you just described is really a, it's a next level of customer care, right? You're, you're listening to the customer, you're looking at their process, you're thinking about how to make their process more streamlined, more effective, more efficient, more profitable. Um, and behind the scenes, what it takes to do that is a superior engineering staff. So, you know, one thing I've noticed about Hennig's products, whether it's a double column machining center and a, a specialized enclosure or a retractable roof, um, they're, it's not a one size fits all, and it takes a lot of resources to to support that effort. Can can you just briefly describe what kind of engineering resources that Hennig and AME have, and why that sets you apart from your competitors? Yeah, so one of the things we have is what we call our Q Rock, which is our quick response office cell. And in, inside that office cell, we actually have all the engineering and all the customer service and all that co-located so that communication is part of the daily routine. And we have engineering leadership that has a lot of experience. And our business unit manager, Don Kaler, uh, has been around the block a thousand times. Like he knows he even uh, worked in the shop for years and years. So he's, he's, and and so we have a great team with great leadership and he's right there with him. He has like a standing desk that he just like is right there with him all the time. And so we also have our uh, research and development um, kind of also where we do special potential new products um, that's separate from our uh, quick response team. And so we able to like serve the customer that way. But the big thing is having partners like Akuma that do a great job with communication. We share um, drawings, we share models, we have meetings, Zoom meetings to figure out, hey, we like this, don't like this. You know, so it's it takes all of that, you know, for us to be as successful as you know we've been so far. So yeah, one one hundred percent, and we've we've all seen that. And uh, you know, at Akuma, we say as one. So in the customer's eyes, we want to be viewed as one. We make the machine tool. You guys make excellent auxiliary and accessories. And uh, but when they have a problem, they want we want our customer to know that as one, we're going to find a solution. And that's what our partnership provides. And we're lucky to have customers um, that, that really see the value in that partnership between Hennig, AME, and, and Akuma. Yeah, I like what you said just there, because when, when, I, was, when I came to the Partners uh, in Technology reboot, like the, the, the rebranding event. The rebranding yeah. event. Yeah, it was awesome. And one of the things that you shared then was we, we, we're not offering a machine tool. We're offering a complete solution that, and so we don't see your product, your chip conveyor, your way cover as something that's just different, you know, like an extra piece. It's part of the whole solution. And so if you don't partner um, in that way, you're going to be always like, you know, pointing the finger. Something's not going to live up to the expectation of the customer. Um, and, and it costs money and time and bad reputation, all yeah. that other stuff. 100%. So Scott, we talked about Hennig. We talked about all of the different products that Hennig offers. Um, one of those main products lines still is conveyors. And let's talk a little bit about the conveyors that you guys are bringing to the marketplace, including the Pure Flow system. We recognized that uh, with all of the innovations that we have done, um, that we were really lacking in one area uh, as a product offering. And that's kind of that medium filtration 250, 500 micron solution, uh, we developed what we call the Pure Flow that handles that. And uh, we did that maybe, I don't know, eight, 10 years ago, uh, just recognizing again what customers are needing, how we can support and help them. Um, 20 years previous of that is when we developed our high end filtration, which is called our CDF chip disc filtration. And that filters down to 25 to 30 microns of nominal filtration. 
And uh, uh, the unique thing about that is we use either a scraper belt conveyor or a hinge belt conveyor. So that's where Steve shines and uh, my guys out in the field shine when we're working with the customer to understand their application so we can provide the correct solution for their for their needs. Right. Well, I mean, obviously evacuating chips out of a machine, utilizing conveyors is important. Um, but also, you know, filtration is a very important aspect of the machine tool too. You used the acronym CDF a minute ago. Uh, can you further describe what that acronym is and what it means and, and how Hennig is using that um, to assist our customers? Absolutely. So CDF is chip disk filtration. Um, it's a different type of filtration from what everybody else has. Everybody has a drum that's on the inside of their conveyor. Our unit actually has a disk or multiple disks that are on the exterior of the frame of the conveyor. Utilizes a stainless steel media. And again, we can filter down to 25 to 30 microns uh, depending on what the application is. So if you're cutting cast iron material, we recognize the scraper conveyor is best suited. Right. If you're uh, with steel and you're creating some long stringy chips, that's where, okay, we recognize that that hinge belt is the correct solution. Um, so we manufacture that with the coolant tank, all of the pumps required. And then if you need further um, uh, like high pressure systems, that's where we can actually assist as well, either on the, uh, on the tank itself, whether it's bag filter or cyclonic, that's something that we can do, get down to that five to 10 microns so you can have that through spindle work. Or our newest technology is uh, we are actually now uh, providing high end standalone systems. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, so, you know, these, these systems are becoming more popular, more popular, and more popular, um, definitely with automation and everything else involved with how manufacturing is changing. Um, so can you give us a little more details about this system? Yeah, so one thing I would say, uh, it, it, in line with what you're saying about automation, is the chip disk filtration system is a pre-filtration that is integrated into the conveyor where... Uh, it's self-cleaning back onto the conveyor itself. And so it's getting out all that, all those chips and fines that are bigger than 35 micron right. without anyone having to deal with a bag, anyone having to deal with a cartridge filter, anyone having to deal with some kind of strainer. And so what it does is it, it, it helps all the uh, post-CDF filtration last longer, be more effective and everything else. And so it fits that sort of industry 4.0 along with like how we drive the system. And that is our variable frequency drive, uh, VFD. Not only can you communicate with it, but it has the ability to um, set different parameters for speed or, um, you know, uh, uh, torque limits and that sort of thing. So it can save itself. And it has a feature that's built in so that whenever it, a jam happens, uh, it actually senses that sudden increase in torque that's beyond capacity, and it tries to back up, clear itself, and then come forward again. Does it three times, and then says, mm, "You got a problem." And so it saves the customer from like breaking his own conveyor accidentally. Right. And and this, you wouldn't believe how often that feature comes in handy. I have, I have a big customer that has uh, a the casting, and they are just going all out. They're just going all out all the time. And every so often they drop a casting right down, you know, the robot is flowing, throwing stuff around and it drops the casting right down the conveyor. And so when I went and looked and they had all these conveyors with broken flights that were flapping in the wind, I don't even know how it got anything out. Uh, but when they replaced it with our VFD technology, um, they've standardized on that now for any conveyor going forward because it is, it's, it's a lifesaver. So it sounds like it. It sounds like this functionality is going to do a number of things. But one, it's going to keep your conveyor in tip top shape so that it doesn't get damaged. Two, it's going to ensure that your conveyor doesn't go down and make your process um, have a red light or be stopped. And then three, uh, it's going to help make sure that you don't have downtime on that machine tool, right? So um, all great things that customers are seeking after. If, if an end user or the audience wants to learn more about that technology or that functionality, where can they find that? It's just if you go to HennigWorldwide.com um, and, and, and you, you, or you can do a Google search and just type uh, CDF or VFD Hennig, H-E-N-N-I-G. Uh, it's the first thing that will pop up. Awesome. And so you'll be able to go, go right to it and, and learn more. Yeah, that's great news. So you guys have been a valued partner um, for a number of years. 
Um, we're constantly evolving, constantly improving. What's next for Hennig? I mean, what, what else is on the horizons? We've seen so many changes between Hennig and AME um, to keep up and always stay on that competitive edge. Uh, what should we look forward to in the future that you can share? Mm-hmm. I know you're looking at a number of things, Scott. Yeah, you yeah. always are. <laughs> there, there are a number of things that we are certainly looking at. Uh, again, as I just mentioned, uh, the, the standalone high-pressure systems is something that we're really engaged with right now. Uh, Steve had mentioned our R&D uh, team uh, that's at Hennig, and uh, we're just uh, going 1,000 miles an hour right now developing many different things. The standalone units are what we're doing right now. And then uh, we also are talking about automating in such a way as to help customers recognize where systems are at with different modes. And uh, there'll be more to come regarding that soon. Wow. That's great news. Uh, We love to hear that our partner companies are always thriving. Uh, You guys shared a lot of great information today. We talked about conveyors. Um, We talked about enclosures. We talked about retractable roofs. We talked about some of the capabilities at AME, um, the sister company of Hennig. Uh, So I hope our audience enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something, or at least now you know where to go to research it. Um, So this is another episode of Shop Matters. My name's Mike Hampton. We have Steve DeGrassi and Scott Cooley here from Hennig. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. And Shop does matter. It does matter. It's right here on the the mug.